Hey my friends, it's Stu here. I uh, just wanted to throw out a wee uh, pickup video uh, for my uh, March pickups. Uh, obviously, this is going to be uh, maybe my last one uh, for a wee while, but hopefully not. Uh, so I'm hoping to grab a couple of things uh, through the old post uh, for the next month's one. Uh, but I really hope you like this one. There's actually a fair wee bit to go through. A uh, couple of different things. Um, I've got some game related stuff, some uh, kind of board game related stuff uh, and um, some even handheld stuff uh, that I managed to pick up. Uh, I've got a couple of nice wee, wee things there I hope you like and uh, without further ado I'm just going to turn the camera around and uh, we'll get started. So, uh, for my first game that I managed to pick up this week, uh, this month rather, uh, I've managed to get myself a wee Zelda title uh, which I've been trying to get a hold of for a wee while uh, for the GBA. Uh, I managed to get a hold of just the cartridge uh, of the Zelda Minish Cap. Uh, it's one of the ones that I've, I've played before and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I've not managed to get it in the box version but to be honest I don't really mind with the, the small uh, cartridge ones like this uh, and the kind of bigger ones for the N64 I don't mind just picking them up as caps because to be honest with you they're pretty hardy so we don't really need the box anyway. Uh, I've also uh, managed to get a hold of the N64 Jet Force Gemini, which I really did love, because uh, I, I do like my uh, rare titles and the Jet Force Gemini one um, in particular was, was a very very good um, and long game if, if I can remember right uh, and I really enjoyed that one so I'm glad to get a hold of that again, it was only like £4 or something so it wasn't really that bad uh, I've also got a hold of a Dreamcast title this time, um, which I don't think I've actually done in any of my videos yet uh, I managed to get a hold of Quake 3 Arena. Uh, now this one is an absolute cracker. I, I love the Quake 3 uh, Arena version. I played it on the PC. Uh, I've also obviously played it on the uh, Dreamcast before. But now I've managed to get a hold of it in a relatively good condition. It's not too bad at all. I see it seems to be really good nick. The disc is in good condition. Quite happy with that. And it came with this massive manual as well in the back um, which is pretty cool so yeah it's quite surprised actually because usually the Dreamcast boxes tend to be broken but this one is actually intact which is a bonus uh, I've also managed to get myself uh, again probably influenced by my, my, my good friend Simon because <laughs> he's, he's as much an alien fan as myself uh, and I've just been trying to find these uh, as and when I can find them managed to get Aliens 3 on the Master System again I absolutely love the Aliens 3 titles, every one of them seems to be different uh, for each of the different machines but they're absolutely superb and a great playthrough and uh, I, I really like this version actually it's obviously exactly the same uh, as the Game Gear version uh, it came uh, complete as well which was an absolute bonus, I love that and the fact that it came with the manual and the, the cartridge is quite intact there so I'm really happy with that so I'm looking forward to playing that through again uh, I also picked up one uh, that I'd never actually had uh, when I originally had my Master System. Uh, I think I actually saw Sega Master Tim playing this one, uh, and it was one of these kind of old, kind of classic Master System titles that you should just have in your collection, and that is Transbot. Uh, I've, I've had a wee play through this, and it's actually really a lot of fun. Uh, it's one of these side-scrolling shooters uh, that you can obviously transform from the. Uh, flying vehicles that you basically transform yourself into a kind of robot or just a flying vehicle with different weaponry but it's, it's really good uh, unfortunately it didn't come with the, the manual this time but it came with the cartridge in good condition it works absolutely fine so I've had a good play through that that's quite a lot of fun I uh, managed to get a hold of a golf title um, for my Mega Drive that I've been trying to track down for ages uh, in a good condition and uh, complete and that is the PGA Tour Golf 2. Absolutely, I really love these games on the, the Mega Drive. I know that they, graphically they're not amazing to look at um, anymore, but at the time I absolutely loved the fact that how many players you could go and the, all the different courses were there. And it was it was a massive cart. I think it was, is it like a four? I think it says like it's a four meg cart or something. It's absolutely massive. And it, it really did. It's complete as well. So I was really chuffed at that. I got that for £2 because uh, the gentleman that was selling it, uh, I just happened to jump on it when there was no bids happening uh, and I, I happened to get that for a couple of pounds so I was really chuffed at that. 
Uh, I got this one, uh, was literally 50p. Uh, it's not the best wrestling title I've ever played. Um, even as a THQ title, it was a wee bit of a letdown, but I, I did enjoy it. And uh, I thought for 50 pence, I'm going to get another whirl and see how bad it was. Uh, it was the Day of Reckoning uh, on the GameCube. Again, it looked, it is, you know, it looks really good. But I, I, it was one of those ones where I kind of played it and I didn't like it as much as I, I did for the N64 versions. But still, for 50 pence, it's one for the collection and I do like my wrestling titles. Now this other one that I've picked up was one that I had played on the Xbox originally. And uh, I really enjoyed this adventure title uh, and I saw it pop up on the eBay for sale uh, on my my list and I thought yeah I'm gonna jump on that because um, I've not I've not actually played it on the PlayStation 2 before and that is the Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Now this title is one of these ones where I didn't actually know much about it initially when I first saw it. I advertised for the GameCube uh, and the, the Xbox and I, I grabbed it for the Xbox because I had that at the time. It was brilliant I really enjoyed it and I, I do love the Egyptian stuff. Uh, you know, just the kind of mythos about it and everything else. So it was nice to play through it and all that kind of stuff, you know, it was in it as well. It was really, really good title. I'd definitely recommend it if you've not played it before. Uh, I was also, uh, I was over at my mum's uh, recently up, up in our loft before all this uh, virus chaos obviously kicked off. Uh, and uh, I was up in my mum's loft doing a wee bit of rummaging and... Uh, I found a couple of items that I think you might like to see. Uh, I've not actually had a chance to put batteries in and test yet. Uh, I managed to pick up my... I think this is actually my brother's. It might be mine. I can't remember who actually bought this. It was a WCW uh, wee handheld LED game. And it was it was one of these ones where it's just, you know, just like a kind of wee bog standard wee fighter game. And I can't honestly remember what it was like, but I'm desperate to get batteries for it and I've not been able to pick any up yet. But I'm hoping to get some on soon. I've put a wee video up if I get the video, obviously, of it working. Uh, also, I found, finally, my the Konami title, uh, Top Gun. Found that up the loft as well, which I'm really chuffed about. And relatively good, Nick. So, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm hoping when I stick a couple of batteries in that, that's going to fire up as well. Uh, I also found, to my astonishment, I found my original... Tamagotchi, <laughs> which uh, I think I got that in like 1994 with a wee pouch uh, for obviously sticking on your waist because uh, obviously you couldn't have a Tamagotchi without a wee pouch for goodness sake uh, and uh, I'll, again I'll, I'll be firing that up again once I get some batteries for that so I, I was really chuffed at finding them up the loft I didn't know I actually still had them uh, and also my, my mum was kind enough to do a wee charity shop run and she she found this for two I think it was two pounds she said in the charity shop and picked it up for me. It's actually a PlayStation bag. It obviously looks exactly like the PlayStation and has all the pouches and everything for carrying the machine. Which I thought was really, really nice of her. And it was really cool. And it's a great neck as well. It's, I mean, it's absolutely immaculate. So it's obviously, I don't think it's ever been used by this, the person uh, that actually bought it. So I'm, I, I think I'll use that uh, just as my work bag, I think. Uh, just to obviously... Fly the flag of the old retro retro gaming. Uh, this is a, a couple of my last things I'm going to show. A, a, something that I'd thought that might be up my mum's loft, but I didn't know for sure. A, but I was so glad they were. A, it was my original board games that I used to play. My role playing games. A, the ones that I had put the video up recently of the characters that I'd painted. And I managed to, f to find uh, my, my original uh, Sp Space Crusade um, game. And it looks as if it's uh, relatively complete. I've not had a chance to actually go through it all and uh, check it all out. But I think it's all there. Uh, and I'm really chuffed at that because I, I genuinely want to play it again. And I'd never actually thought for a million years it would survived all this time. Because I think it's been up my mum's law for about 20, 25 years, I think, uh, at least. And it's in really good nick. Uh, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, all the board is all there. Uh, you know, all the all the nice plane mats and everything, and they're all in really, really good condition. So I think it's it's literally just been sitting up in that loft in that box, uh, and 
it's survived really well so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that uh, back up and playing that again and I also found my uh, my Blood Bowl game um, which I'm really happy about because I absolutely love this game uh, I love the, the video game and I, I, as well but the the board playing game I really like because of this the, the style of it and uh, this cracking uh, polystyrene um, playmat as well, that was excellent uh, I thought that was one of the nicest things they did on this this particular one uh, I'll show you that out the, the box as well because it's kind of cool uh, <laughs> I'd actually done a wee, da a wee dab hand and I've, I've went, and, went and painted a wee bit of it uh, just to obviously that's the middle section of the board and you've got your two, two sections obviously at the sides uh, which I've painted as well so I was really chuffed at finding that up there, uh, up the loft and, and, and in really good condition. So I'm looking forward to playing that obviously again with a couple of my pals once all this uh, malarkey's over in Dunworth. But that is my lot for this month and uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Hey folks, I really hope you enjoyed that wee video and uh, there was a couple of wee items there that you enjoyed and you might want to comment about. Uh, so please do, just comment below and give me a wee, wee, uh, wee thumbs up and the if you like it and um, if you really if you want to if you can subscribe as well uh, I'd, be, I'd be glad to have you aboard and uh, hope you enjoy some of my new uh, my other videos as well so thanks for popping by and uh, I wish you all the best obviously in this uh, situation we're in and wish you and your families to be safe and uh, just uh, take good care of yourselves and um, let's keep gaming and uh, keep things as normal as we can and have fun and uh, um, the love to you as well Take care of yourselves, folks, and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.